In the uh, 13th century, the Mongols come forth, the Tatar, as we call them, and they destroy much of Central Asia and Iran and much of the civilized world. But after that, the Mongols begin to build. And the Mongols were among some of the greatest state makers in history. And when the Mongols begin to build in China and Central Asia and elsewhere, uh, they created an economic system that was the prototype of capitalism. This has been studied by some great people like Janet Abu Lughat, who is an American Arab of Arab Christian descent. She has some beautiful things on that. You know, and this is, she believes the roots of capitalism was in this Chinese Muslim synthesis. It has money, it has hiwala, it has a type of banking system, it rationalizes markets, it controls finance, it is, it's like a type of proto-capitalism. And it flourished in Central Asia, it flourished in Iran, in Syria, in Egypt, uh, in Muslim Spain and Portugal, in Italy and in southern France, Provence, and in the lowlands, and in, even in England. And then, all of a sudden, in the 14th century, something happens that stops it forever. Do you know what that was? What was it that happened in the 14th century that brought the trade to an end and took the ships off the sea? The Indian Ocean was filled with ships, Arab ships, Persian ships, and then they're gone. What happened? Do you know? The Black Death. Bubonic Plague. And it was spread all through the world by the efficiency of the Mongol postal system. They had a berid, just as the Umayyads and Abbasids had a berid. And the germs of the Bubonic Plague, we believe, because we have historians who study disease, it came from Swat in what is today Pakistan. And then these, uh, these fleas were spread all over Central Asia and into China and into Europe by the postal system. And then the bubonic plague wipes out Eastern China. Europeans will always tell you what it did to them. They have this really um, blinkered view of history. It's like, yes, I mean, the Black Death was horrible in Europe and it ended the feudal system, and it enabled changes to take place that probably could have never happened, but it lowered the Muslim world, it devastated the Muslim world. It took the Muslim world hundreds of years to be able to get back the populations that were destroyed.